Utility companies in Japan are working their way through long safety checklists as they try to win approval to restart nuclear reactors. Their plants must comply with tougher regulations and be equipped to deal with emergencies. So one thing they are doing is investing in cutting-edge technology to be better prepared. NHK World's Noriko Okada shows us how. It works slowly and methodically, but it gets the job done. These engineers are learning how to manipulate remote control robots to deal with nuclear plant emergencies. Step by step, they perform increasingly complex operations at this training facility. Companies that operate nuclear plants are funding the projects. Guiding the robots with precision takes skill, and it's difficult to judge situations based on video alone. Nuclear plants have doors and steps like these. Through trial and error, we've been trying different ways of getting robots to move through such obstacles. Utility companies have applied for permission to restart their nuclear reactors. All 48 of Japan's reactors are currently offline. Each plant must pass safety standards to go back online. Utility managers say robots will allow them to respond more quickly and effectively to emergencies and reduce risks at the same time. But teaching people how to operate these devices is only the first step. The accident at the Fukushima Daiichi has demonstrated the limits of technology. Engineers admit they still have a long way to go to develop better machines. We're using robots that are developed for military use and other purposes. So if we bring them into power plants, we'll have to find our own way to modify them to suit the needs of a nuclear emergency. Nuclear regulators have ordered operators to put measures in place to deal with all stages of an accident, such as the release of radiation or damage to fuel rods. Robotic technology is just one part of the equation. Noriko Okada, NHK World, Tokyo.